Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem we have the function g, which is defined as g of x equals x percent of negative 53 when x is greater than zero. So it might be a little bit confusing as to what type of function this is. You normally wouldn't hear a function written in these sorts of terms. But if we can turn this into just a pure math equation, it'll be a lot more clear. So I'll start it out as g of x equals x percent of negative 53. So we're going to get that as x percent times negative 53. What is x percent? That's just x out of 100. All right, so 100 percent would be 1. That would just be um, the maximum value you could have. 0 percent would be 0. So it's going to be some, somewhere in between there, right? Multiplying that again by negative 53. And so our final equation here is g of x, if we're multiplying these two together, is negative 53x over 100. So, and if it makes it a little bit more clear, we can put the x out in front of it. And so this is going to be a linear, linear equation, right, where you have this constant slope, and then x, making it linear, plus the y-intercept, which is 0, and this is the y equals mx plus b form. The slope is negative. We have negative 53 over 100. Negative 0 0.53 is what it would be in decimal form. And so we have decreasing, because our slope is negative. Decreasing, as we said, linear equation. So it's a decreasing linear. That's going to be answer B. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.